long-term food storage. In this video, I'm going to do something I've never done ever. I think you'll enjoy it. We're going to go for a ride throughout my community in the car. I'm going to talk to you about what happened in Hurricane Wilma. Look at some of the homes in my community. We'll go inside the home here. And my wife, Tammy, will film me preparing some of this. Look at this setup. Isn't this great? This is, this is tied in with National Geographic, the show Doomsday. This is huge. This is the real deal. We're going to go in the kitchen. And we're going to easily make a couple of meals here. And we'll, I'll sit in the kitchen. I'll make it. I'll sit in a different area. And then I'll sit in the um, living room. And then I'll go into my computer section where I type back and forth to everybody. But you know what? Besides showing you some more of my personal life, which I think is important, you need to know your host. And let's face it, the more you know about me, the more I know about you, the more we're all going to enjoy the channel. But I'm talking about something serious. I'm talking about long-term food storage. Now, I'm going to try to make the video brief, but it's pretty serious. Think to yourself, you know, you get canned food. In four years from now, will you eat this? Do you want botulism? Do you want to be sitting on the toilet in case of the government coming after you for everything? Or in case of a massive earthquake splitting apart your area of the world? Or in case of whatever, tornadoes, hurricanes, natural disasters, floods, tsunamis. Rice Aroni is a great product. It does not have what's called an oxygen absorber inside, and it is not freeze-dried or dehydrated. These products are good for a short shelf life, and I think they're excellent. So those of you who are preppers, and you have a lot of this on your shelves, like Ronzoni, I love Ronzoni, I'm Italian, I love this type of pasta, but it will get bugs in it, microscopic bugs in it, and you, will, you don't want to be sitting on the toilet when you have problems with, with uh, a natural disaster or oh, everything break them loose. Okay, you get the drift. Okay, beans are a great source of protein. And, but you wanna eat this like three, four, five years from now? I don't think so. I buy my food for maybe a three month supply. And then for long term, as you can see now, I'm partnered up with National Geographic and their major sponsor, wise foods when you watch the show national geographic explorer doomsday watch that show and watch the commercials it's all wise foods wise company they have this down pat some of the reasons are as you look here at the display from from this side to this side the food tastes delicious by the way and i'm putting my reputation on the line and I'll put my five and seven year old daughter here on the, on the channel here in a couple of weeks and let them taste it. It tastes good. But that's not everything. You need nutrition. You need proteins. You need calories. It needs to taste good. And it needs to be advertised the way it is. You need a full size portion to keep you alive. You're looking at pasta alfredo, chili mac, chili macaroni, cheese lasagna, pasta, vegetables, chicken, and beef is important. Some sort of beef. It's important for protein and apple cinnamon cereal. So, for instance, the cheesy lasagna. Okay. Some of the other companies that sell freeze-dried or dehydrated products, they're, they're kind of bogus because the servings, the amount per servings is tricky. When you look here on the back, which a lot of us, some of us, when we go to the grocery store, we really don't pay too much attention to this. But when you're looking at spending your hard-earned money on food that's going to save your life, you really want to make sure that you have enough calories, protein. This product here, this just cheesy lasagna, this is just an example. Servings, two. Now you can eat it right out of this bag. This is great for campers, hunters, Anyone, hikers, going on long trips, 
you keep one of these buckets, and these buckets are these things. I love these things. I, I can, I'm going to do a lot of videos on this, like one a month or so. These buckets are awesome. It doesn't extend the life of the food, but they're so strong. So what my wife did, and I loaded her up with the Escalade, is I loaded her up with a bunch of bags of these food, rainwater, anything. All you need is hot water, cold water, anything. You put it in here, and you got food. Eat it with your hands, eat it with a wooden spoon, anything you can find. You know, hopefully get a plastic fork or knife or something. But this here, for what I was saying is 370 calories per serving. Well, how many servings? It says two. So you get 740 calories. That's just from this little bag. This is designed for one person for a week. And really, on, by the way, on my website, a lot of you don't realize I have my own online store. I don't talk about it all that much. This is a gun channel. But this is serious. This is survival. We're talking about survival. I seen, I seen what happened in Hurricane Sandy, uh, where these people are waiting for FEMA to bring them a tuna fish sandwich. Is that what you want? You want to wait for the government? So yes, I have armoryexpressoutlet.com. I own that. I'm proud of it. I built it from scratch. I really am proud of that, that online store. And I'm very proud to be associated with National Geographic. Doomsday, and their major sponsor in particular, Wise Company. And what we're talking about 740 calories, and we're talking about protein. It says 16 grams of protein per serving, but times two. So you're looking at 32 grams in this one bag. And all you do is put two cups of water in it, hot or cold, and you're good to go. The seven day ultimate kit is on my online store, armoryexpressoutlet.com. If you want to support the channel, please do so. If you want to save this for future reference when you can afford it, please do so. But I'm trying to tell you that Wise Foods has it nailed and that's why I took the day off of work today my wife did. We went through this whole spiel today, and I'm really glad I did because I'm very proud to be associated with the top long-term food storage company in the world, Wise Foods. The cost, what is the cost? Seven-day ultimate kit, $144 for one person. I think it could stretch... 14 days if that was me, but that's up to you. 21 bucks a day. Use the discount code weapons ed, all one word, weapons ed. All one word, you get 10% off, and you need that at 21 bucks a day. And systematically save up. Just please, someday, hopefully not. I mean, hopefully you don't thank me. I don't want a catastrophe to happen. But it's a good feeling to know that you have food. And you're not depending on FEMA. Here we go. Let's, I've said enough. Here we go. Let's go for a ride around my community. Let's go into my kitchen. Let's go into my living room. And I want to show you where I, I type back and forth to everybody. I'm really digging and enjoying all the fun we have together. And it's my responsibility to National Geographic to show Doomsday and their major sponsor of Wise Food to do a video like this, and I hope you appreciate it. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. a nice change of pace. I figured I'd like to take you inside the home and also we're going to take a ride around our community where we live. Tammy, thank you for recording. What you're going to do here in a moment, please, is take the wheel. I'll sit here in the passenger seat and then we're going to drive around the community and I want to talk about our real life situation, right? Hurricane Wilma. 
the end of October 2005. It hit right here, direct, and I want to make a point here, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's take a ride around the community, look at some of my neighbor's homes, and it doesn't matter where you live in America, if you're living in a lawless society, it's not a good thing when people are desperate. Desperate people do desperate things. You need food, you need a lot of things for survival, and this video we're focusing on food. Let's go for a ride. All right, so we're gonna go for a little drive. This is the entrance to my community. And I'm gonna make a point here that no matter where you live, living in a lawless society, everything can change. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, these are some pretty nice homes. And when the hurricane hit, the first day after, everyone was trying to help each other out. Everyone was walking like zombies. There was no power. We had no power for three weeks. And then by the third or fourth day, everyone got really, really desperate. And then by the seventh or eighth day, people got so desperate that they started to fight. I'm talking about fighting at gas stations, fighting amongst neighbors, vandalism. Yes, homes like this, vandalism. People breaking in, stealing everything they can steal, stealing food, anything to get their hands on survival needs or just to make a profit. So you need to arm yourself and you need to have food. It doesn't matter where you live. None of these trees were here after the hurricane. None of them. It was absolutely, you wouldn't even recognize this neighborhood. You know, right now what I want to do is take inside the kitchen and I just wanted to make the point that no matter where you live, if a catastrophe strikes, no matter what it is, it's the golf course out there, it's not a good thing. It's really not. I'm not going to depend on my neighbors after 10, 14 days after a catastrophe. Let's go around this roundabout here. There's one of my good friends here. There's some prominent people who live here. Team, uh, people that own sports teams. And uh, this person here is the person who built our house. He's a custom builder. All right, let's go inside our kitchen. here all mirrored off, nice chandelier, and let's show our friends our wedding photo while we're at it. I think it's good that you know your host. The more you know your host, the better. That was 04 when we got married, and here you are here, Tammy, how beautiful. I like that dress, huh? Remember you picked that dress? <laughs> that was 04. Went by quick, huh? Since then we had two children, girls age five and seven, and I think it's important that you, the more about the host, the better for you, the audience. I mean, if I was watching other channels, which I do, I like to know as much about the host as possible. But with all that said, let's go into the kitchen, this is what this is all about, and cook some food and survive in case of Armageddon. Let's do that now. Welcome to our kitchen. And this is, uh, this is where Tammy and I and the family live. Before we get into food real quick, you can take a look around. And it, yes, when you have children, you put pictures of your children on the refrigerator, right Tammy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're just adorable to us. We have, uh, they're five and seven now. And uh, we have a bunch of pictures here. And you know, when you're thinking about long-term food storage, you don't need no fancy dancy knives. You don't really, you don't need anything fancy dancy at all. And that's what we're talking about right now. I think about those Chilean miners, by the way, when they finally found those guys like two miles under the earth. I wonder what kind of food they sent down to them. 
I bet you it was something like this. I'm serious. I've been, I've been eating this food now for two weeks before I tell my audience about it, my friends, and it's awesome. It tastes delicious. It's got the high protein and the calories that you're going to require to live. And that's what this is all about. Let's do, let's, let's do it. Let's, let's see how to cook teriyaki chicken and rice. All right. Now, first of all, this has meat in it, which is rare for long-term food storage. And meat is important for protein. Okay, so let's do this. We all, all you have to do is open the top, get a good grip on it, rip it open. No big deal. And it's going to reseal for me. And I'm going to pour two cups of water in it. Get this puppy open here. And all you want to do is add two cups of water. First thing you want to do, by the way, is take out this. And this is huge. This little thing is called an oxygen absorber. And you want this for long-term food storage. Does rice have it? No. Does beans have it? No. Does any type of packaging you get on the shelves at any store in America have it? No. We're talking 7 to 25 year shelf life. Tammy, what happens to pasta after a year in Florida on the shelf, or six months even? We get bugs, um, mold, Disgusting. all kinds of things. Yeah, it's just not good for long Terrible. term. It's just not good. People say, well, we'll reshuffle, we'll eat the old regularly, and then keep bringing the old to the front and all that kind of things. It's not realistic. You want to have something like this. Take your water, two cups. I've got the privilege of obviously having power right now. In a lawless society, in a catastrophe, earthquake, hurricane, whatever it might be, lawless society, you have no power, you use cold water. Just add two cups of water to this, seal it, and let it sit for 15 minutes if it's hot water, and if it's cold water, let it sit 45, 50 minutes. It doesn't matter. So I'm using hot water right now. I'm just going to pour it in there. Remember, you can use cold water also. Rain water, whatever it takes. Tammy, you said you want to put this in the back of your escalator, right? I think it's a good idea. I think all the cars should possibly have one, don't you? Just for some food for like three, four days, right? You never know. You just never know. You would tell me earlier today, what if a nuclear bomb goes off in Miami, right? I mean, for real. It's true. I mean, it's, you know, we're optimists, but the world is not going in the direction we want. So all I did was pour the water in here, stir it up a little bit, shake it up, and I'm going to let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, just like that. And, yeah, by the way, well, you'll see when I sit down. You don't need no fancy, fancy plates. You need a paper plate and a plastic, anything to eat with. You can eat with your, your fingers if you have to, but nothing fancy, fancy. Just let it sit. And there you go. Let's come back to it when it's finished. The size of the portions is extremely important. The calories, the protein, extremely important. The ease of preparation is extremely important. And the flavor is extremely important. This is just a taste test. And Tammy, we already tasted it, right? It's good, yes, right? Yes, I did, yes. Unbelievable. It really is good. I can see going to a restaurant and purchasing this, not knowing that it's long-term food storage. The rice, I'll taste it. It's delicious. Let's go to a different portion of the home and have a seat and just relax and taste it again. All right, now I'm relaxing in the living room. You want to have the privilege of having Sega 12 gauge, semi-automatic, triple off buck, fully ready to go, 12 plus 1. You do want to have an AK-47. Grab one now. That's an arsenal. And of course, I like my shoulder holster system. I have a Glock with a 10 millimeter holding 16 rounds. I'm happy. I've got my food. 
I'm protected. Let's go one more place in the home. We'll finish out the video. If you're curious, this is where I sit each night and respond to everybody. And in case of Armageddon, I've got my food. I can sit here and relax. This is really delicious. This is a house, fortunately, has a generator system that will run it for 30 days. But most people do not have that privilege. You do want to have this type of food. You really do. Please check out the link below. And the discount code is Weapons Ed. One word to get 10% off. We'll be talking more about this in the future. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our home a little bit, the kitchen, the living room. This is where I sit each night and talk to you folks, my friends. I care about all of you. Thank you so much.